Coming up next, it's a middleweight showcase between Yoel Romero and Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall coming off a great training camp and feels outstanding. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. Uriah Hall steps inside the octagon and he's ready to fight. As always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to bat. He's trained extensively on his wrestling, specifically his takedown defense for this fight, Mike. This is a guy who's extremely difficult to put on his back, and if you do get him there, he's very good at just popping right back up to his feet. If he wants this fight to stay on his feet, it will. Ready to fight, Uriah Hall. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Romero is seven years his elder. Hall will have a six inch reach advantage. And once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Ben Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Man is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 13 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of New York, New York. You run up! And now it's his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, 1 loss. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Joel, Soldier of God, Romero! All right, great to be losing the locker room. I want you to wear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. Bad blood up. yesterday at the weigh-ins, and it continues here. No touch of the gloves, and it is time to get this started. All right, you ready? You ready? Way go! Five, five-minute rounds. White trunks for all. Black trunks for Romero. Joel Romero's opponent has the reach advantage tonight. What will he need to do, Joe, to get inside and be effective? He's got to utilize timing and footwork. He's got to figure out what the distance is where his opponent can hit him, and he's got to figure out the right time to move inside that distance. And he's looking for that left. Switches the stance. Good shot. Look at this. Romero with the combination. Big roundhouse kick. Hall gets caught by that right. He lands a head kick. Oh, that. 
that hook did damage. This clinch has brought this fight to a stalemate. The ref will probably break him up. Both guys are canceling each other's movements out, and this is a complete stalemate here in the clinch. Trying to take the back here. He oh, scores with a huge hand. left. He's got full guard here. Just over two on the clock. Romero with a nice punch from the bottom. Ah, oh, that's an outstanding transition. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. Good elbow by Hall. Nice right hand. Passes, moves into half guard. Good transition. Man, he's being tested, but he's back up. His left eye is closing up. Missed on the takedown attempt. Hall with a solid leg kick. They are exchanging here, Mike. He scores with a huge left. left. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Beautiful body shot there, too. What a jab. Big takedown. Solid right hand. Side control. Nicely done. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Round one him. in the books. Go. Let's take a look at some of this action here. Here's a perfect head kick. And here's another clean shot that lands. And here we see it from a different angle. The beautiful Lariani getting us set for round number two. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Round two. Comes out swinging. He lands an excellent combination. He caught it with the head kick. Hard straight punch. Caught wow. him with that uppercut. Oh, wow. big shot. He is in big trouble here. Torso. Nice movement on the ground. Let's see what he can do from here. He's posturing up here. Nice shot to the head. Oh, wow. That was a big left hand he connected with. In the full guard here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Now falls back into guard. And there's a reversal. Now he's in full guard. And he gets reversed. Come on, we'll just lay on him. He's got the full mount, Joe. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Vicious ground and pound. He's inside control here. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Oh, great transitions. Scramble and go, scramble and go. They gotta pick up the pace on, or they're on, gonna stand him up. Go. He's now working from side control again. Romero's got the full mount again. 
Huge oh, elbow. Oh, man, that is rough. Oh, that's good a good shot. shot right there. Very good shot. Big elbow. elbow. Smashed. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Elbow. huge elbow to the head. Big oh, shot. That's it. That's it. TKO. TKO victory. He was not intelligently defending himself. Too many big shots get through, and that's the end of the fight. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again, ground and pound for the TKO finish. And here it is from a different angle. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero! Yoel Romero, your winner by TKO. He is as electric a striker as we have on this UFC roster, top to bottom. Uriah, prime time hall, Muay Thai practitioner, long on UFC experience, and most of those UFC wins have come by knockout or TKO. Biggest win to his credit, of course, the win as massive underdog against Gegard Mousasi, but Uriah Hall still believes his days of contention are ahead of him and not behind. We'll see how he approaches this one tonight. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. So here's the one-time middleweight title challenger and Olympic silver medalist, Yoel Soldier of God Romero. No denying the wrestling credentials, but obviously a guy who has gotten a lot accomplished with his striking and mixed martial arts. 10 career wins by knockout for Yoel Soldier of God Romero, who will be looking for an 11th victim here tonight. This guy has outstanding defense, and having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Romero is seven years his senior. Hall will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a karate fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Uriah Clinton Hall! And now for his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Uriah! Soldier of God, Romero! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? And we are underway. 
With 11 career wins by knockout, four of those coming in round number one. Here is the UFC middleweight champion, Yoel Romero. He's won his last nine, and remarkably at 40 years old, remains the man to beat at 185 pounds. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Romero. All right, the first round is underway here. You gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop. It. Oh, there's the kick right underneath the elbow. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Hope. And he looks for the takedown. True on the double leg. He's posturing up here. Oh, elbow to the body. No part of him is safe. Big punch from the bottom. Just over three minutes to go. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Nasty leg kick lands. in the north-south. He wants to get that arm under the back of the neck. He's got it. Then he's out. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Big oh, left, left hand there. Maintaining control. A couple of hammer fists now. Big body shot, shot. The body. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Finds a home for the left hand there. He's now working from side control again. Big punch from the top. Twenty seconds to go in round one. He's in half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Round two next. Aê, senta aí, senta aí, respira pra mim. Respira, é pelo nariz. Aê, muito bom. Take a seat for me, bud. Deep breath. That's right. Tomo água aqui. Here's a perfect head kick. And here we see a perfectly executed trip. And here you see excellent technique and a big slam. Brittany Palmer is here as well. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, beautiful straight right. Right on the button. Nice knee by him. Oh, what a leg kick. Big straight punch. right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Landed a big kick for the knockout.
Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed and timed kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. Check it out again. Check out this angle here. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, you won one oh! So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up for a huge fight now moving forward inside the octagon.